fun. Karen, this is Turkey 101, and I believe we have to brine it. I've never cooked a turkey before, so I'm not too sure what brining is. Okay. Well, if you're if you're gonna get into this thing, we got to get it right. Brining is basically injecting the bird with a bit of moisture and a bit of salt. So when you cook it, you're gonna lose that sodacy kind of texture. It's gonna be light. It's gonna be heaven. It's gonna be delicious, and you'll be the queen of Thanksgiving. Excellent. Let's get to it. Okay. So, equal portions, salt and sugar. Okay. And what the sugar does, it just kind of balances out the salt. A little bit of bay leaves, peppercorns, chilies. This is really quite a simple one. Fresh garlic. Throw in a whack of onions. Maybe a little bit of lemon. Just kind of flavor enhancer. And then five liters of water. So basically, we're going to stir that around until everything melts dissolves and in goes our bird. Minimum 12 hours, maximum 24. Okay. So a day ahead is probably the best idea. So what's the color in here? I noticed that it's brown. Well, you know what? It's got a healthy tan to it already. That's just a little bit of turkey juice. When you pull it out, you know, there's a little bit of blood in there. So it actually washes the turkey at the same time, which is a healthy thing with a little bit of salt. And it does two things. It kind of washes the bird at the same time, which is nice. You want to try to get as much of it out as possible, but if there's a little bit inside, it's salty goodness, it'll be okay. okay. So in it goes. Next, we have to get our stuffing ready. So in front of you, I've got three types of pork, three types of onions, and three types of herbs. Throw them in the pot. In this one? Yeah. Okay. So we've got leeks, spicy sopracetta, that we give a little bit of a kick, green onions, double smoked bacon, Shallots, my favorite. Yeah, got it. And pancetta. There you go. Now I want you to do something for me. Okay. Now okay, Karen, have you ever made stuffing before? You no, can I? Okay, ask her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, Karen, have you ever made stuffing before? I haven't. Well, there's one thing you have to do to get this job done. Get your hands dirty. Get right in there and stir it up. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Okay. Little elbow will never hurt you. Drink that? No. Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> just leave them on. Just leave them on. Get in there. They're not that important, right? And then the salami is going to get in there. It's going to spice it up a little bit. And what we've used here is three types of breads. So we've got a sourdough, we've got a whole wheat, and then we've got a uh, rosemary for Okay. And sometimes you can cook these off, but I prefer not to. I like to get the bread stale and it's going to kind of hold its integrity. Okay. Now, the fun part. <laughs> you know where it's going, right? <laughs> I do. Let's get it in. Let's go. Just throw it in there? Yeah, as hard okay. as you can. But you really got to stuff it in there. You got to like kind of punch it into the back. I feel bad for the bird. Oh, he's doing just fine. He's really romantic. He's enjoying himself. All right. How many people do you normally have over for Thanksgiving? Uh, Twelve. Twelve people. And so typically speaking, if they're, if they're small eaters, you'd use a 12 pound bird, one pound per person. Yeah. And if they're like big, huge, beer drinking, lots of turkey, then you go 1.5, so you need an 18 pound bird. Okay. This guy's around 14 pounds, so he might do the trick. You might want to go a little bit larger. Go ahead. You're doing a great job. <laughs> now, here's the beautiful part. There's leftover. That's okay, because we can put it into the front as well. Okay. So this part kind of gets a little dry because we didn't bake it. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is I call it my, my uh, salami insurance. I just take this, and I'm like, here you go. You just cover that little bit of bread there so it doesn't burn and it gets kind of crispy and salami and then that's the cook's treat when it comes out and <laughs> no one ever knows. It looks great. <laughs> okay, so into the oven we go. We're going to do this for two and a half hours. Okay. What's one hour. Okay. One hour at 450 degrees. It's going to caramelize and then we're going to cover it and then one and a half at like 325. Okay. Ready to go. So Randy, if you're cooking a turkey at home and you don't know, you know how long to cook it, what do you do? Well, here's the big problem is, is ovens are different temperatures, timing is always a little bit different, maybe the bird's a little larger, right. so you kind of have to know. You can't just read the recipe and go, it didn't work. Okay. So there's a few tips. The, the meat will come off the bone here a little bit. This will separate a little bit. You can be able to poke your thermometer in here and see the temperature gauge, or you can just buy this little sucker, slap them in there, and then when the legs go up, you've done like dinner. And where do you put it on the turkey? I think you put it right into the breast. Oh, that door for me, please. Okay. See you in a little bit. <laughs> okay. Karen, 
We've been in an hour for 450. Let's take a look at this baby. Wow, it looks great. Look at that. Nice little golden tint to it. You can see it's starting to break away here. You can smell it. You can feel it. Now all we have to do, wrap it up, tense it. It goes back in the oven at 350 for another hour and a half. Yes, please. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Want to get that door for me? Yeah. Thanks so much. See you in a bit. Two and a half hours later, Karen, I think we have turkey perfection. Let's take a look. Whoa! Looks great. Legs are up. So what did we do? We did an hour at 450, an hour at 350, and then let it rest for another half hour. Yeah. Looks good. All right, let's take it to the table and carve it up. For your first attempt, I think we did really, really, really well. Good. You can take a look. It's nice and juicy and tender. Wow. Woo. We just rolled I'm out the so board. I'm so excited. I'm very Carpet happy order. to quality control that for you. You want to quality control this? No gotcha. problem at all. Give that a try. The carver always gets a try a little hunk. Help yourself. <laughs> okay. Very good. Yeah? Very good. And I need in on this action. Peace for me. What mm. do you think? Mm. Now. If everything's done perfectly, the legs, you just really put your knife in there, but you really just kind of give it a pull and a tug, and it pops right off. And here we go. Now we're safe on a board. We can cut the breast this way. We can take off the leg meat. We go right to the plate. Okay. Pretty simple.